Hello everybody and welcome back to Playtech TV. My name is Kevin and today we're going to be checking out Razer's new Chroma lineup of gaming peripherals. So Chroma is basically going to be the name for their RGB colored lighting series of gaming peripherals. Now they're going to be bringing out a mouse, a headset and a keyboard. So the mouse is going to be the very popular Razer Death Adder Chroma with obviously all the lighting effects added into it. The Razer Kraken 7.1 Chroma is going to be the gaming headset they bring. The 7.1 stands for 7.1 Surround Sound. And of course the Razer Black Widow Chroma which is going to be their mechanical keyboard with the 16.8 million colors that Chroma brings. First let's talk about the Razer Death Adder Chroma. So this is an ergonomic right-handed design mouse with nice textured rubber grips on the sides. It features a 10,000 DPI optical sensor. Of course, features their chroma lighting, which means 16.8 million customizable color options. Is Razer Synapse enabled, just like all the products here today, and we'll be talking about this software later in the video. It has five independently programmable hyper-response buttons, a thousand hertz polling rate, on-the-fly sensitivity adjustment, an always-on mode, a gold-plated USB connector, and it features spectrum cycling, breathing, and static lighting modes. Up next is the Razer Kraken 7.1 Chroma. And this features their advanced 7.1 virtual surround sound engine, which is really impressive, an enhanced digital microphone, which just comes out the front here and then tucks away nicely. It is designed for extended gaming comfort and features powerful drivers for the highest quality gaming audio, has a closed ear cup design for optimal sound isolation, foldable ear cups for maximum portability, and just like the Death Adder Chroma, features spectrum cycling, breathing, and static lighting modes. Finally, we have the Razer Black Widow Chroma. Now this features Razer's own mechanical key switches with 50 grams of actuation force and a lifespan of 60 million keystrokes. It also features 10 key rollover anti-ghosting, fully programmable keys with on-the-fly macro recording, five additional dedicated macro keys as you can see down the side here, a gaming mode option which will disable things like the Windows key so you don't accidentally hit them while you're in your game, an audio out and mic in jacks, a USB pass through, it also features a 1000 hertz polling rate and a braided fiber cable. Now it features spectrum cycling, breathing and static lighting modes just like the other two Chroma products but also features custom, reactive, template and wave lighting modes. So let's check out these lighting modes and see if Razer Synapse 2.0 is as good as it's cracked up to be. So here we are in Razer Synapse 2.0 with the Black Widow Chroma connected, as you can see down in the bottom left corner. This is just the customized screen that we're on now, so you can set different customizations for the different keys. And of course it has their profiles off to the left. Macros, so you can set all the different ones you want. We'll skip over lighting very quickly and just check out gaming mode. So you can toggle this on and off. As always, you can set profiles. And that's to disable things like Alt-Tab, Alt-F4, or the Windows key. Now to lighting. So let's go through all the different ones that all three of them have. Now, like always, there's the profiles down the left. There's also brightness at the top that you can jump between. Bright, normal dim and of course off. We're just going to leave it on bright. Now all three have the spectrum cycling where they will cycle through all their preset colors. They also have breathing, where they can breathe through either random colors, or you can set 
a single or two colors for them to breathe through. Now there's also Static, which is just the plain color by itself. We can go into custom colors here. Whoops. And you can see all the color range that you can pick from. Now there's some of the other ones. Custom. So this allows you to select any color you want for different keys. We'll put the template back to none so we can see. Then we can go through and say do Q, W, E, R if we so wish. And A, S, D, F. And you can do this in all the different colors you like. So you could set up in a nice big rainbow if you want to and set every key on the keyboard as a different color. Now next up we have, oh no, we have the templates as well, can't forget them. So the templates you can go through, so you can set it to FPS for first person shooter games, MMO, MOBAs, RTS, real-time strategy games. Now there's some presets for some games such as Counter-Strike Go, Dota, League of Legends, and StarCraft 2. Now there's also reactive, so you can pick whichever color you want and the duration, and when you depress that key, the light will come on on that key. You can set the duration, so for a long time, medium, or short duration, and the color that you want the light to come on as. And finally, we have wave which just cycles through the colors in a nice wave and you can also choose the direction of the wave. So overall the software is very easy to use, very straightforward, uh, don't need to read a manual or anything like that, absolutely excellent and easy and still very customizable. In conclusion, all three of these Razer Chroma products feature some impressive lighting and the brightness goes up quite high. But the best point is the software. If you remember back to my Corsair K70 RGB video, you'll remember that I said the Corsair software was too complicated and it was really hard to use. Synapse 2.0 isn't like that at all. It's very easy to use and very straightforward. And best of all, you don't need to have to read a manual to know how to use it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe to Playtech TV. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.